Hey, Tim Ria here at Digital Health Summer Summit, San Francisco, the Digital Live Show. Special guest is Mark Hansen, Dr. Mark Hansen, uh, head of technology and product at BeClose.com. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing great, Tim. Thanks so much. Good. So we're just uh, wrapping up with a really cool section called uh, the Human Equation and Cultivation and High Impact Results. So what, what's your background? Uh, so I'm the, uh, the co-founder, head of technology and product at Be Close, and uh, in that role, really, I build the technology and the product for a company here that uh, provides Internet of Things type sensing in the home, and uh, we bake all that data and, uh, into sort of a, a set of intelligent uh, assessments, and we allow caregivers, whether they're family members or they're professional caregivers, to ultimately provide better care for, for people in the home. And so we really think that we're starting to bend the cost curve of medicine here by pushing care into the home. So. Interesting, because it's a, the place of when things happen is where we need to put the intelligence. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So I th we, we are fundamentally believers that passive collection of data is really important. So there's a big compliance problem today, uh, you know, in, 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 in healthcare space in general. So you look at these devices like Fitbit or Misfit, or a lot of these devices are fantastic, great design. The unfortunate thing is sometimes people don't wear them, especially when you're talking about the aged space or people who have disability you know, that compliance problem become even, yeah. becomes even bigger. So really what we believe in is passive sensing in the home and really pushing that to caregivers with information that can be actionable. So, so uh, the session was the human equation, cultivation of high impact results. What was happening inside? Really what we were talking about is how do you marry touch and tech? So we talk a lot about technology, right? And everyone's about throwing gadgets at problems. That's not really what we think is going to change the equation. Really what we believe is that you have to have a high touch experience, right? Clinicians, people who are already in the home providing care. And if you can marry those two, and they're very different types of people, by the way, but if you can do a good job in marrying those two, ultimately you can create a much more impactful result. And so really what the panel was about was how do we sort of marry that, t that technology with the touch to provide the highest impact result. So who else was on the panel and what were some of the conversations swirling there? Uh, so Kimberly Petty and Dr. Damani were both on the panel and really what we were, we, I think more than anything, we, we saw similarities uh, in, in how we were all attacking this space really being empathetic with our users, and those users are varied, people like clinicians, the end user, uh, and really trying to get to what the pain points really are so that we can solve the problem really at hand, which is providing better outcomes at a lower cost and ultimately reducing caregiver burden. So It really seems like you have to totally treat these different people completely differently because their mindsets, their backgrounds are completely different, so you speak to them. Absolutely. So these two, two, two different groups have very different metabolisms, right? Yeah, so yeah. as a technologist, I'm thinking, go, 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 right? And, and how do I push the technology? And I'm really fearful that I'm going to miss the upside, right? This great wave of technology is being pushed into medicine. I want to ensure that I can hit my upside. But in, in medicine, clinicians are often uh, in, in really, uh, in, in, uh, they, they really feel that they want to mitigate their downside risk. And so you have those two different metabolisms do clash. And so we have to figure out how can we ultimately provide really safe and effective solutions to the clinical space that are really timely and effective. You have some really interesting programs coming out. Can you expand on what you have cooking there? Absolutely. So we've been involved very much in, in the public space. So we, we have a Medica uh, Medicare Innovation Grant uh, in the state of Kansas right now. We're really excited about that. We're working with uh, Stormont Vale Hospital System. Uh, and in that particular case, we're actually marrying touch and tech. And, and so we're looking at how do we take this Coleman Care Transitions Program, marry it with the B-Close technology that we're providing, and ultimately push care into the home reducing care costs, improving outcomes. A second program I'd like to highlight here is actually our Medicaid waiver program that we're running in the state of Missouri for people with cognitive disability. So the idea is to actually push more uh, sensing into the home and really provide the, uh, the caregivers in the state with the analytics that are needed to provide better care for the populations they're serving and expand the program to the entire state. So, so expand upon like what sensors or how are you guys collecting the passive data? So really what we do is, if you think of a home security system, you guys are probably familiar with things like motion sensors and door sensors and all that sort of stuff, right? Not very different, right? We take that, those sorts of sensors, which really blend in the background. If you have a home security system, you probably don't even notice it's there after a little while. And that's the idea. Don't require, yeah, exactly. Don't require sort of people to do anything. And so we take that data from those sensors and push it straight to the cloud, and we make sense of that data and boil it into things like, are people sleeping? Are they, are they eating properly? Sort of, are they ambulatory? And from that, we can then derive analysis about their health. Uh, so you're looking at patterns, pattern recognition. Absolutely. So machine learning, uh, predictive analytics, those are all the future of this particular space. So, cool. so uh, what's next for you? Uh, we're really focusing on how do we push this to scale. 
Uh, and I mentioned some of the programs that we're working on through Medicare and Medicaid. We're also working with a number of other hospital systems, including one in the Northeast. And so how do we achieve scale as an industry, as a company? And that's, that's it's really about some of the things that I've been talking about, really. How do we marry touch and tech? And how do we ultimately operationalize these programs with really strong logistics uh, uh, to, to get this program to scale? Hey Mark, it seems like a massive problem to solve as the population grows rapidly yeah. and the people with the skill sets to take care of that aging population are decreasing rapidly. Yeah, absolutely. So the, the numbers that I like to provide, which are quite striking, uh, so the typical, in, uh, the, the savings that are of people that are about to retire in the United States right now is about $26,000. Yet their caregiving burden just for assisted living alone is 100 so that's $70,000 that they don't have. And when you multiply that by the 70 million people that are coming into the, into the system, you have a massive problem. So as an entrepreneur, I think it's, it's, a, it's, it's a problem, but you see that as an opportunity as well. How can we sort of bend that cost curve and make things more sustainable? Very good, very good. So that's Mark Hansen. How do people connect with you and your company? So just go to BeClose.com, and, uh, and we have a telephone number up there. We also have uh, email and, and Twitter. We're, we're all over the place. So it's very easy. Just go to BeClose.com. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Tim. Appreciate it.